Hey guys, welcome to Sadan's world and this is Sadan. So we will continue with the naming of organic compounds. We got them from where we stopped in the first video in part one. So if you've not seen that video, I will, I will also advise you go and check it out. So for now in this video, naming organic compounds part two, we are going to we will still focus on the alkenes. But it's going to be more advanced now, okay? Focus on the alkenes, alkenes, alkynes, and alkanols. So I'm not going to do any further explanation. We'll just continue with more examples, okay? So if you if you need the basics, I've already done that in the first video that's in part one so let's just try out more examples let's say we have something like this and then let's say here we have fluorine all right let's say here we have fluorine let's say here we have bromine like this so what will be the name of this structure? The most important thing I need to do is to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That means it's going to be pent. Now, pent what? Is it pentanol, pentanoic, pen, just pentene or pentene? So you remember that alkenes have single bonds all through. So since I have just single bonds, then it's going to be pentene. Remember from that video that assuming I have double bond anywhere there's going to be pentene then i need to show where the double bond is okay let's look at something so this is pentene now but i need to name these guys here so this will lead to where i need to count from now if i count let me draw it somewhere here if i count from left to right if i count from here to here that's what i'm trying to have this what will i have i will have one the substance is going to be on 2 so I write 2 plus this is 3 the next substance is going to be on 3 right 2 plus 3 and that will give me how many here 5 but if I count from here to here all I have this is 1 this is 2 this is 3 so the first substance will be on 3 plus 1 2 3 and 4 the next substance will be on 4 so that will give me how many here? 4. So everything is going to give me how many? 7. So in organic chemistry, we are going to nail with that direction that gives us the smallest coefficient. That's how I do it. So the best direction to number is from here to here, which is giving me 5. Okay? So this is one of the fundamental rules about numbering and chains. Please have this thing in mind. Hope that together. Now you should take note. Let me write it somewhere so you see it boldly and clearly. Let me write it somewhere. Where numbering fail alphabetical order. takes place okay alphabetical order takes place all right so let's just continue so for here um, i can now just check so this is bromo bromo is on second right so i have this is one so this is two bromo right two bromo this is three fluoro So remember that the fluoro comes before bromo. Sorry, bromo will come before fluoro in alphabetical order. So the whole name now is going to be what? 2 bromo. 2 bromo. Uh, 3, right? 3 fluoro. Okay. 2 bromo, 3 fluoro. What next? 
Then I'll just attach, attach my painting. Okay. Let's look at this one. Let's see if we have something like this. Like this. Boom, 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 boom. Let's we'll just have it this way. Mm. Mm. So we have one here, and we have one here like this. All right, it's becoming dangerous. All right, if you look at this, please. I'm sorry, I, I am talking cold and quiet. That's how I'm feeling now. I'm feeling uh, all I say. <laughs> I'm feeling cool and calm. And besides, I um, don't worry, just focus on your video. But if you notice, my voice is not sharp as usual. But just focus on getting what you need to get from the video and go your way. Alright, so, um, so this is. What I'm looking at here, let's check for how I can number this whole thing. The longest numbering I can have is very important. Okay, so if I check, I'm going to have one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, that means I can work with this. I can work with this number one, two, three, four, five, six. I can work with this, okay. I can also, if you check, I can also work with watch. I can also work with one, two, three, four, five, six. Since it gave me six with this one, six, so it's not a problem. I'll still get the same naming. Yes, you still get the same naming. But where there's a problem is when you have one, two, three, four, one name to this side, five. No, that's wrong. So let's pick, let's pick this line, this line here as our main line to avoid confusion shall i just stick to this one as our main main line all right so let's number i don't know who can tell me where we'll number for me look at here we have one two three four five six so in that video i drew something i said i said uh, oh or Is greater than triple bond, triple bond greater than double bond, double bond greater than single bond. Okay, the single bond can be seen as methyl groups. So, here I have methyl, I have methyl. I'm not going to pay attention to this methyl since I have double bond here. This, this is the one I will pay attention to. This is the one that's going to determine what you're getting to my, my numbering. Okay, this one I don't know if you understand. This is the one that's going to determine my numbering. I know I'm supposed to do okay, so I'm supposed to do one, two, three, four, then I do four, then I check the coefficient like I did for here. But no, 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 no. Here, since I have a double bond, the double bond will have the smallest number. There's no need checking other ones. So the only thing I need to check for other ones is when the double bond is in between and cannot really, how am I going to put it, it's in between. So cannot really affect the number, and I will not check for other ones. So right here now we have something like this. One, so this double bond is on what carbon? Remember I said it's on second carbon because this is carbon one, this is carbon two, it is attached to carbon two. So what will be the name of everything? Everything is going to be one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's going to be hex, right? Hex, remember how we do it? Hex, how many in? Hex one, two, hex two in. Or better still, two hexene. All right, all right. Now let's attach our substituent. I hope you know that this substituent here means methyl. In case you don't know, please have that in mind. So that archaic, like defined in the other video, we get them whenever we have a branch, whenever we have carbon that is not on the main chain. So we get them according to the number of carbon. If I have one carbon, remember that this thing here is one carbon, right? If I have one carbon, it's going to be met. But instead of calling it methyl, it will be methyl. So I'm basically call it methyl, anyone. And if you check this top side now, it's going to be methyl too. So here we have methyl on. We have one, two, three, four, and five. So methyl is on four and five. So that's going to be methyl, methyl. So that's going to be four 
comma five. So instead of calling it metal, I'm going to call it di metal, meaning more than one metal. Okay. So when I, I want when I add up everything together, I'm going to have what four comma five dimethyl then i will attach my two hexane okay attach my two hexane 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 sorry or i can still say four comma five dimethyl four comma five dimethyl uh hex Alright, let's look at a few more examples again. Let's say we have something like this. One, two, three, four, five. And let's say we have a triple bond here. Hmm? Let's say we have a triple bond here. So, and let's say we have, we have something like this. Here again, two. Okay, so let's take our time to observe what we're going to have here. So what we we'll have from here now, observe this very well. This is going to let okay, okay. Let's see something. Our longest chain. Our longest chain is going to be this, like this. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. So if you look at this kind of structure like this, um, what is going to control my numbering? The triple bond there. I will pay attention to triple bond before this one branch here. So it doesn't make really, it doesn't really make sense. So this is the major one that will control. We have a number four. So if I number from left to right, it will be the smallest because this is going to be one, two, three. This is going to be on carbon three. But if I number from right from this side to this side, I'm going to have one, two, three, four. It's going to be on carbon four. So the best numbering is going to be one, two, three, four, one, two, three to this side. So this is my this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is seven, and it's going to be alkyne. Remember we triple bond, right? So let me let's look at it somewhere around here. So this is going to be heptine. Hept, but where is the ion? One, two, three on the third carbon. So hept three, hept three ion. Okay, hept three ion. All right. So what else? I need to name the branch here. This is the substituent here. So if you notice, this substituent here actually has um, three carbons. So that is carbon one, carbon two, and then carbon three. Okay, this substituent here has three carbons. All right, and that is um, carbon one, carbon two, and carbon three. So it's supposed since it is a branch. Remember that branch carbons are add, we add ILE to them, so it's supposed to be propyl. Okay, since it is a branch and made up of three carbons, so it's supposed to be propyl. Don't be deceived by this middle line here. Remember that we don't count line, right? We count the dots. The dots represent the carbons. So this thing here now is going to be propyl. And then, but there's a problem here. This is not just normal propyl. Normally, propyl is supposed to be attached to this one as this, like, like if you notice, it is the middle carbon that is attached to it, not the first carbon. Check like I said, this is one, two, three. This is the middle carbon that's attached to it. So whenever the middle carbon is attached, what we do, we call it what iso, isopropyl. Alright, that's what we call it. So this is isopropyl. So when you've done that, there's nothing remaining. So this is one, two, three, four, five on the fifth carbon, right? So this is going to be what now? Five isopropyl. Help. Five isopropyl help. Three iron. So that will be the name of this compound. Okay, let's look at a few more examples. All right, let's say we have something like this. Something like this. All right. 
let's say we have triple bond here, triple bond here, we have double here. Okay, let's say here we have fluorine, we have bromine, we have bromine, we have chlorine. I've not used the din before. Wow, this is really this. Let's see here we have um, let's see here we have fluorine also. Alright, let's see here we have fluorine also. So um so the major problem is where will I be counting from? Will I be counting from here to here or from here to here? So check very well here, you can see vividly that. I have triple bond here and I have double. So I'm going to respect the triple bond. The triple bond will determine where I will count from. So I'm going to count from the side with the smallest numbering for triple bond. So what I will have for me now is one, two, three. Let's count the whole carbon first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So eleven carbon, that is actually um on the cane, right? On the cane. So that's gonna be on the cane. But on sorry, so we're gonna, we're gonna be on on deck, okay? So, but yeah, it's supposed to be on the sign. Is that true? On the sign. So on the sign. But the problem now is. The problem now is one, two, three. The triple bond that is the ion is on the third carbon, so that's going to be on this three. Okay, on this three ion. So that's how it works. But if you check here, I've what happened to this double bond? Where am I going to put this double bond here? Where am I going to put this double bond? Now, you will put the double bond in between here again, this place here. I'm sorry I'm using a very big number, I'm supposed to use something like propin or butin, butine. The concept about this is whenever you have a double bond and a triple bond in one structure, okay? Whenever you have a double bond and a single bond in one structure, all you need to do have in mind is that the name is going to look like, the name is going to look like, the, or the name is going to be E9. Let me put it this way. Yes, E9. Alright, so that is how it works. So, what we'll do now, we're going to have the in part. That is, the in part is going to be for the double bond. And then we're going to have the iron part. So, what it means now is if it is to be. Let's look at it from the both side because I want you to get this in very clear. This is one of my major focus for this video. If it is to be an alkene, then I would have called this thing what? On the scene. On the scene. Then if it's an alkyne, it is going to be on the sign. So if it is having both double and triple, it is on the C9. On the scene. Okay? nine this is what it look like all right so now what do we do we're going to put the the position of uh, the double bond for the in and that is on the what carbon one two three four five six carbon so this is going to be on this this Two in sorry one the six in on the six in okay then the triple bond is on three on the six in three in all right so I don't know whether it's because we're using a very big number but that is going to be the general name all right we're going to look at two more examples on this kind of problem. 
But let's make sure we name everything. So here we have iodine. Iodine on how, how many places? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. You know I'm going to name B before C, before F, before I. So let's name B first. So that's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six. So B is on four and six. So that's going to be four comma six dibromo, right? Four comma six dibromo. Then after B, I will name C, 1, 2, 4, 4, 6, diabromo, 2, chloro, right, 2, chloro, 1, then after C, F, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, so 5 and 9, so that is going to be 5, 9, difluoro also, then iodine, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 8 and 10. So 8 comma 10 di iodo. Then finally, what do I have? On this 6 in 3 iron. On the 6 in 3 iron. Let's see how fast we can quickly name something like this. Alright, let's see how fast we can name something like this. Let's see how fast we can name something like this. Okay, so if I'm to name this compound here now, uh, possibly you can see that I'm going to pay attention to the OH. The OH will determine where our number from. Because remember I said that the OH uh, take priority before the two bond, two bond priority over the set double and over one. So these guys are going to take priority. I'm going to focus on the OH. So if I focus on the OH, counting from here, we have I'm going to count from. To count from, I'm going to have one, two, three. This is going to be three OH for five. If you look at this thing very well, you notice that. Anywhere I count from, I will have the same numbering. The other ones that have been prioritizing other functional groups whatsoever, if I count from the both sides, I will not have the same. Then I will, not, I will need to pick the one with the smallest. But here, if I count from here, I will have one. This is going to be three. Uh, this is four. Five is going to be five. Then, like, let me draw it. This way, I will still have three, four. Sorry. One, two, three, four, five. I will still have three and five. If I count the other way around, I'll still have 3 and 5. Check it out. You see it. It equal to 8. So that means I can no longer use it to determine my direction. Okay. Then I will now need to check these branches here. So that's how it works. Oh, please pay attention. Now, if I check the branches here, I'm going to have 1, 2. Okay. 1, 2. So this is 2. If I check the branches here. Counting this way, I'm going to have two, one, two, three, four, four, five, six. This is going to be on six, and that's going to give me about twelve. Is it twelve? Yes. No, yes, twelve. If I come from this side, this side this way, I'm going to have one, two, three, four, four again. 5, 6, so I'm going to have 6, which will give me 12 again. So, having 12 on both sides now means um, I need to do something else that is very, very important. Remember when I, I said something at that time, that whenever your numbering fails you, all about the numbering, because there's nothing to consider again. No. Whenever your numbering fails you, you should consider alphabetical order. So, here now, I have met. This is one carbon, so this is met, right? And here I have two carbons. You can see one, two, two carbons. So this is going to be eight. Is that true? This one here, two carbons. So this is also what eight. So since my numbering has failed me, I'm going to consider alphabetical order. A number in that direction that favors 
the smallest that is the smallest alphabetical order should have the smallest numbering so if i'm going to consider alphabetical order that means i'm going to number from here to this side okay so this is going to be one two and then so on and so forth so having done that what's going to be the family name for this this is one two three four five six seven this is all he is telling you is, is alcohol right seven is heptanol but not just heptanol hept what are the positions of the all one two three they are on three and five so heptan remember heptan three comma five comma five all heptan three comma five all remember or just write three comma five heptan all so i want to attach these guys this is one so this is two until three four so this is i'm going to name e first so this is going to be four ethyl no four sorry one two this is two comma four diethyl diethyl okay two comma four diethyl then what next two comma four diethyl one two three four five six two comma four diethyl six methyl six methyl then heptan three five all all right see you in the next video we'll still be looking at the um, naming of compounds and we're going to drive it bit by bit until we get into all those complex compounds thank you for tuning in